This is great. This is just great. But now let's see what we can do on the surface again. And find out what the onion thing was. Because it was, it was marked as an onion. But I don't know if it's onion, <laughs> you know? Very nice. I love the flags next to the dungeons. Also, war, that's passing. I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Blue Toad, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one sixth of as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. So you move six times faster underground or something. <laughs> Interesting. Not not six times faster. Is it? I might be right in the math, but I'm probably wrong in the math. Knowing me. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces of, on this planet. That's really helpful. <laughs> I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. That is very interesting. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, it made it bigger. The onion sucked it up. I think it made it bigger. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called flarlic. <laughs> Just call it garlic, come on. If we bring flarlic to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. Interesting. So that's how that works. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more pigmen. Well, I can't take out the ice pigmen because we don't have the capability to put them away, I don't think. Although, I have to put them away, don't I? How do I... Is that good? Just with ice pigmen? Or do I need to... It's probably fine. I have 30 out of 30 pigmen now. Although, let me see what happens if I try putting in the ice pigmen. Because apparently I can do that from... A distance? Is that a thing I can just do? I don't know. I can zoom in on the site. Yeah, I don't know. Let me try doing this. You can put them in there. But I don't think they sounded happy about that. I probably can't reproduce them. But that is such- that's fascinating. So you can actually put them away, but you can't reproduce them. That it just completely redefines Pikmin as we know it. Okay. Let's go collect some more stuff. Like, it's just... This is crazy. This is the best Pikmin game. This is gonna be the best Pikmin game, probably. Well, so we can get, probably get, get across this water by using the Ice Pikmin. Or at the very least, do something else to it. I think we can freeze it and get across, but I don't know how that's going to help us. Also, there are berries over there, and that's going to be really helpful to get. But I don't know what else we can really do at the moment. How did that work? Well, how, how did that fail? Technically. Just going to correct myself. I'm just going to explore a bit. I don't know what to do. I mean, I should probably be searching for more things. But I think... This is going to take a lot longer to get through this demo than I thought possible. Uh, let me search for more castaways. Did he find one? Oh, he did. Wow. Well, I'm going to explore this way first. Command. Can I tell you to not search? I don't know. I might have to whistle him back, actually, is what it might be. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Stop. Come back. Got him. Okay, so we need to be careful about that. By the looks of it. Also, there's an incomplete breach here across to where we started. I think? Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I sh I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Oh, maybe we need clay for that. Maybe that's actually like a thing we have to make. Like, physically, we have to make it, possibly. Interesting. Also, I wonder if I can actually just, um, change site locations? No, it doesn't look like it. 
Yeah, I can't just set that. I have to actually go back manually. Maybe at some point I'll be able to just set it wherever I need it. But that's too, that's too convenient. Especially for this early on. Also, the timer is really passing right now. I need to be careful. Just gonna take these back. There's also a, a hole here that we can dig some stuff out of, probably. So let me just do that and see what happens. So a bowl up here. Also a fiery blow blowhog. Okay, some more of this stuff. Good. More materials. There's more of that that way, but I'm going to go up this way and get this fiery blow blowhole out of the way first, so I can get this ball. I think it's better to throw them on. Especially when it's... ...trying to... about to blow its fire. So let me do that now. That should be good. There we go. Let me prioritize this ball first. Although I don't know if I can reach it. I don't think I can throw high enough, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to leave that for the moment. We have to learn a lot more things first. There we go. Well, so apparently I didn't put enough Pikmin on this other thing. I think I've been trying to throw Pikmin and it's just not been doing it. You have to really make sure you throw stuff. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Trying to toss it, but I pressed A instead, which tells it to send it. Need to really be careful the way I do things. Need to learn everything again. Oh, interesting. Well, I can definitely take that. I'm gonna grab these as well. Please. There we go. Oop. That's fine. Those aren't bad ones, so... Where's that other thing? Is that over there? That's over there. I can't get that, though. There's also that, which we might be able to weigh down to get across. Oh, there's another thing up there. Might want to do that. Also, it's getting late, so I might need to be a little bit careful. Need to hurry up a bit. But this is so cool. It actually... Like, it feels very open, which I'd like. The most open it's felt for a while, possibly. Like, it's always felt open-ish, but right now it feels really open. It's really good. How much is this worth? Probably not worth a ton. Also, that enemy over there probably I want to take out before nightfall, because I don't know what's going to happen at nightfall. But what from what I know, it's going to be bad at night, so I need to probably take this out now. You want to keep a close eye on the creature, on these, on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, they're a handy trick of keeping your sights on uh, and aim where you want them. Press CR to fix your auto target lock and keep your aim focused on one target. Okay, that's gonna be really helpful. Also, we can take this out now because of that cutscene shows how easy it is. At least with 40 Pikmin and uh, all flowered red Pikmin because red Pikmin do more damage, I believe. They fight more, or something. They hit harder. It makes targeting nimble enemies, or aiming while you're in motion a snap. I get it, because since you're snapping the camera to it. Oh, that's really interesting. It doesn't even matter what angle you're looking at it. There we go. Let's get this back to base. But that is interesting. But yeah, I think I do want to take these enemies out before bad things happen to me. Also, electric gates, we probably want to be careful about those. I mean, they'll probably only stun us, but they'll kill our Pikmin possibly... Probably not instantly, because in Pikmin 3 they didn't kill, it, kill us instantly. Also, the day is really going by. I need to be careful. Oh, hey, we're on this side. Oh, bad ones! Get him. Oh, you have health, right. I need to actually be careful about that. But I might be able to charge you at things to make that work better. For me? Hello. Oh, I might not want to do this yet. Maybe I do. I don't know. Please get that. I just need more Pikmin at the moment. It might be a good idea to just farm more of these things that are around. 
Just so we have more Pikmin, just in case we lose them. Hang on. Calm down. I want to get this way. Open. Oh, do I need to put more Pikmin on that? I can put more Pikmin on that. That's probably a good idea. The day is getting really close to the end. We need to be careful. I'm really concerned. I don't know what's going to happen at night, and I'm very concerned by this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, I kind of want the onion. If I can. I might need more Pikmin for this though. Actually, it's too high, isn't it? Yeah, it's too high. I can't reach that. Okay. There's a lot of ways around. Which is really cool. Let me see if that works. Also, we need 10 Pikmin for that anyway. So it doesn't matter what I was trying to do. I'm really concerned about that bulb bulb though. Come on. Actually, get on the thing. What are you doing? Can I auto lock? No, I can't. Okay. I'm going to try and hold on to my ice pigment as long as I can because I don't think I want to lose them. So I'm going to keep them in the onion for the moment. Oh, it's really getting close to night. I'm very concerned. I can't get in spaceship. Ah, scary. I mean, there's not a ton that I can do at the moment, is there? If I can get up there, though, from behind, somewhere. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you have your uh, make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Okay, I'll do that now. According to the Captain Olmar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they will make it back to the uh, this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Hurry up. It's almost sunset. It seems like the day's gonna go by really quickly, possibly. But I'm not sure. As long as they're in that squad or in the circle, they should be safe. Though, when we get to night. But also, I'm a little bit concerned if we go into the night time, because I, that's a thing in this game. And I have no idea how to feel about that. Okay, we got it. Good. I was a little bit concerned there for a second. Pikmin help. Why do they only put on the, the lowest amount of Pikmin possible? I don't know. Just gonna get as much of this stuff back as I can. That is currently available to me. Okay. Get that. Also, if it, it doesn't automatically take the Pikmin off. Hello. Final countdown. Apparently that's a lot closer than I thought it was. So that final dot on the thing is actually the end. I don't know if they're going to make it back in time. Three. Okay, they might be fine. They're just not going to get it back to the thing. That's a shame. Zero. Oh! Ah! Well, there we go. That's our first real day of exploration. This is so good. Like, I was a little bit concerned getting into this, but I'm actually really enjoying this a lot. This is really good. Whew. Got out of there. Luckily. This time. Let's find out what the new rescuer does for us. Also, how safe is it here? Asking for a friend. Got Russ. Got a whole bunch of Sparklium. Up to 540 now. Also, we still don't know how much stuff is left to collect. But we have 13% of the progress in this area. So I think that does say that there's a lot left to collect in this one area. No losses yet, which is good. If it was Pikmin 1, I'd probably have a lot more losses by now. 
Also, we have 109 Pikmin now. Because we have 99 reds and 10 uh, ice. That's just great. And 82 more raw materials now, that's good. Oh. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it he in here. In one piece. Hee <laughs> Of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would ha would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if we came across any rocks like this or if you came across any rocks like this before we found you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already com completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, these, the rocks become soft and malleable, and can be shaped into any form you desire. <laughs> That's such a great sound. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Uh, cool. Oh. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass. Uh, I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printers so I can put this ma uh, miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that we might that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be a key to our su success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual. Now that you're here. We found Russ. Oh, I see you use a pin. So then, I guess I, I won't need to tell you that it's an, as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and, and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives and progress. Okay. <laughs> I just unpinned it and he told me about that. Rescue mission day three. Also, don't think the day starts until we leave this area, which is interesting, possibly. It goes, like, very quickly into the next thing, so I, it might actually be good for me to break for lunch, but also continue this, probably. Wait! Is it just me, or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? He's gonna consume us all. That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Oh, it's so cute! Look how it is! Oh, it's so happy! Oh, puppy! <laughs> the Pikmin sure are playful today. <laughs> oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Puppy. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right, another benefit of Ochi's being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing other missions. Well, completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. <laughs> From the looks of it, Ochi is ready uh, as ever to fill up that pup drive. <laughs> Alright, officers. To your stations, please. Copy that. Also, there really needs, really needs to be an icon for when all characters are talking. I now call this strategy meeting to order. First things first. Russ, please upgrade, update us, <laughs> upgrade us, update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. <laughs> Kihi, it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected into the field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. 
That's so cool. Excellent, of course. I'm not I'm I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing, bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. And don't forget about our mission rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Blue Toad and o Ochi. By the way, come to talk to me later when you have a minute. I'd like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that! Yes, the day doesn't start yet, which is nice to know. Gear and skills just un un up unlocked in this thing. We can get an extra buff. Uh, for Ochi. They will seem to move things. Grants three pow power three Pikmin. Per upgrade, I guess. Chomp. This is our actual attack. Rush, which we already know. Dig, which is when he's undigging something, because apparently that's just a, a thing he does. And command. With this, Ochi learns to distinguish distinguish sense. Okay. So those are things we can get there. But let me also check a few other things here. I want to check this mainly. Visit the lab. Ahem! Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the rescue corpse operation. I use raw, the raw materials you find uh, and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. Visit the lab. I can proudly state that all my inv inventions have been perfectly perfected. You should, uh, if you could even say that I have held it down to a science. In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Acquired gear from the lab has a a collection thing. Charging horn? Yeah, I definitely want that. That's what that's what I was thinking about earlier when charging things. Press X in this horn with this with this horn in order uh and this horn will order selected Pikmin to charge. Press repeatedly to charge with an entire squad. Definitely worthwhile getting. Thermal defense. That might be good, just so we don't freeze. What's this last one? Oh, thermal defense for Ochi. Yeah, we'll definitely want to get that as well. There's also items here. Scrummy Bone. When Ochi is injured, this will heal him instantly. When he's in perfect health, it'll temporarily increase his HP. Cool. So it's like Breath of the Wild extra yellow bar, basically. And, uh, and the emergency kit is probably for... Oh, protect you from getting knocked out. That's definitely important. This life-saving kit auto replenishes your HP. You should always keep one equipped. Then you can focus on rescuing. I'm very concerned that that's a thing that exists because that's definitely going to make... That's definitely going to be important at some point. That means it's going to get so difficult, right? We can get up to five. Hang on, let me just see. Thermal defense. Then we can get two of these. So I'll just do that. I'll, I'll keep, like, I'll come back for a scrummy bone at some point. I'll just try not to kill o Ochi, so. Kihi, I love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once, once, and in order your Pikmin to charge. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X and your entire squad charges. Okay, interesting. So you can actually, like, send a specific group of Pikmin to do it. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You can even call it Dandori Dynamite. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you about how to use items. From actions, open your pack with L and go... Open your pack with the left to the right side. Left on the control stick. You find all your items in there. 
So just pick one, the one that you want to use. Okay, so if I Y, pack. We actually have a scoring bone already. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Actually gave me an extra thing as well. Emergency kit. But it's good that they've gave, given that to me. Um, I don't think time is passing right now, which is good. I don't know if it will pass if I try and do other things. It doesn't seem like it, so that's good. Also love this, like, I just love the sights in Pikmin games. Need more sights. Is that a cork in the top of the ship? No, it's the thing, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a cork, anyway. Um, hang on, let me look at the training advice. Ah, there you are. Danger is constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you in Ochi just might save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up th his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready, because it's that time to start your training. I'd like to train. Alright, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. This rescue pup training, uh, curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. So I guess this happens as we do things. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you want to take. Go to, uh, go the buff path, path, if you want to carry heavy things or go the chomp path if you uh, if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep proper Dendori practices in mind, and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. So we have three upgrades that we can get right now. Call them to you. Interesting. Come here. Go to base. That might be good to get. Just to let get level one. Because a lot of this is upgrading to level 2, but we should probably learn command level 2. Command level 3. If you get lost, we need to just get uh, one more. We need to get one more of them. More of them. You can direct Ochi to gather. Oh, you can gather Pikmin with Ochi. That's also pretty helpful. So command is going to be really helpful to get. Uh, heal. Let's Ochi heal when he's injured. Probably like letting him sleep or something. Healthy faster, and he even faster, so that's all good stuff. But I, c I think command level 2 is probably a good start. So let's do that. Yeah, so we've already looked at those, but yeah. Great work, Ochi. I've got just a reward for you. Get an extra scr scrummy bone. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a scrummy bone. Give it to o Ochi as a, re a reward for me. Okay. Man, this is so good. <laughs> this is just the demo. I haven't even ended got to the end of the demo yet. Um, let's go. We're all set over here. Take it for whenever you're ready. Let's go exploring. Which area would you like to explore? Sun Speckled Terrace, I guess. So that's the only other area we have currently. And we've already got 100% of this area because it's just the safe area. So... Let's go. Also, I know I can skip that, but also, I kind of like it. <laughs> Starting off on this journey, it's just nice to have the animations and stuff.